Hi, I'm Katie from katiescristina.com. Today I'm here to share with you an easy slow cooker recipe perfect for any holiday dinner or maybe even a special Sunday dinner. Using my KitchenAid six quart slow cooker, I'm going to cook um, a ham in the slow cooker. Very simple and we're going to go ahead and make a brown sugar and honey glaze to go on top. So let's get started. So first off, we want to turn on our slow cooker. I have a slow cooker bag. This is super simple, best way I feel to use a slow cooker for an easy cleanup. So we're just going to place that on our slow cooker. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then um, we're going to go ahead and put our ham in. And we're going to want to put our ham in flat side down. So we'll just cut the plastic, put it inside the slow cooker. And let me just tell you a little bit about my KitchenAid six quart slow cooker. Um, it has three different settings, a low, a medium, and a high. It's programmable, so if, um, if I, you wanna you know, not cook your food right away, may, maybe wait a half an hour or so, you could do that. Um, it also tells you once it has um, finished cooking, it will also tell you how long your food has been sitting in the slow cooker. So that's one thing that I love about the slow cooker. So as you saw, I placed the ham flat side down. Um, it fits perfect in my six quart here. And you'll wanna push it down a little because it probably, this part might be a little um, too tall for your lid. It's an easy fix, I'm gonna grab a knife and we're just gonna cut a little sliver off to make sure that it's flat. And the best way to do this is just run your knife against the top of the slow cooker. And I'm not gonna throw this away, I'm just gonna leave this in the bottom of the crock pot because it's just gonna get nice and tender. And another great way to test is to put your lid on. If it closes, which it does, then it's perfect. So now let's go ahead and make this rub I was telling you about. I have one cup of brown sugar. I know that's a lot of brown sugar, but let me just tell you, I love brown sugar and I love my ham to be sweet. I'm also gonna go ahead and grate in some fresh nutmeg. I'm gonna have a half teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm also gonna do about a quarter teaspoon of ground clove. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is mix this together. And now here comes the fun part. We're gonna pack this onto our ham. All right, and now that we have the, the brown sugar mixture onto our ham, we're gonna wanna drizzle on about a quarter cup of honey. And this is gonna add, oh, just beautiful flavors to our ham. I don't wanna waste any, so I'm just gonna use my little spatula here. All right, we're gonna put the lid on, like I said, make sure it's a tight fit. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this on low. And you wanna do this for about eight to 10 hours on low. And if you're pressed for time, um, we will go ahead and put it on for nine hours. And if you're pressed for time, you can go ahead and set it on high for four to six. If uh, you are home when you're, you're making the ham, you can go ahead halfway through and maybe take some of the juices and sugars at the bottom and drizzle it over top. Um, other than that, I guess we just need to wait and let our ham cook. All right, our brown sugar honey glazed ham is now done in our slow cooker. So now it's time to remove our ham from the slow cooker. This is the challenging part. One, it's been cooking for a while, so it's pretty tender. And two, it's heavy. It's a good, you know, the one that I have is six and a half pounds. It just depends on what size that you end up getting. So I like to use multiple pieces of utensils. If you can have someone help you, even better. Woo, got that beautiful ham. All right, all right, using a knife, we're gonna wanna carefully just start slicing pieces of ham. Of course, you have the bone there. Um, if you have a carving knife, that's always good too. I think my time is done here, and for this recipe and more, 
please visit katiescusina.com. Bye!